Welcome back. I am Opiate, and this is OP Gaming. Today we're taking a look at Clid the Snail, the first game from developers Weird Beluga Studio. Clid the Snail is a top-down shooter adventure game about a grumpy humanoid snail that wants to get rid of slugs. A snail that wants to get rid of slugs. I'm 90% sure they're the same thing aside from the shell. But who am I to judge? The demo has an odd start. There's almost no intro and there isn't any real reason shown as to why or how the snail became what he is or how or why he's armed to the gill with multiple weapons. I think I was hoping for something like Earthworm Jim's explanation, but maybe it's better I don't know. I mean, it's a demo, so I'm not sure any of it's necessary if they're just showing off gameplay. They are also showing off some humor as well, which is an unexpected treat. The game looks great. It shows how much care went into the design of the game. There's a light fog over some of the scenes. It really adds to the ambiance. Now the dialogue is listed as English, but I can assure you it's closer to Hut than English. The gunplay is alright. In terms of influence, all the old twin sticks could probably get some credit, even though it doesn't really feel 100% like a twin stick shooter. I mean, if I had to label it in comparisons, it's closer to something like The Ascent than something like Nex Machina. There are also some minor puzzle solving parts. Nothing overwhelming, but a nice change in scenery. The other characters you run into are also animals that have stumbled into the ooze and can also communicate. Not all are rational though. Some have more humanoid attributes, like crazy. There's a place to buy ammo, and I'm guessing upgrades, although there wasn't much in the demo. There are spots in the inventory showing there's more to unlock throughout the game, although how-to is saved for the actual full release. Now the game is already out for the PlayStation, but isn't yet released on PC. It's listed as late 2021, and honestly, better to take more time to get the port right than rush it and have a buggy game. Down below you'll find all the links to all the things. Dev page, Steam page, background music, as well as my Twitch, in case you want to drop by and talk about the upcoming releases you're excited about. As always, I am Opiate. Thanks for stopping by.